Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech where this fire starter isn't doing anything. Okay, so we're doing this target acquisition mission here and we need to fire on, well we need to take out all five of these mechs over here. There's a sixth mech over here that we don't really care about. This is our Midrin Centurion here and it's going to be one of those that makes its way down over right, this way. Let's move. Excellent. We need to make our way to here in seven rounds. Which we should, in theory, be able to do. No problem. System's holding. So they're going to continue firing on us. We've got these allies down here. They're not really doing much. They're wildly out of line of sight. That Vulcan moved to there. I'm not surprised that they're trying to move to intercept this chameleon. Receiving you. That is the correct move here. And we're just going to sprint the salamander up to here. And we're otherwise going to sink heat. There we go. Phase 13 is going to be the Drillson, and we'll see where it goes. It does literally nothing. Okay. Hey. The Battlemaster is also going to head down over this way. This does give us LOS on this Viper. We're just going to not fire the heavy laser because of heat. We really need to deal with the heat in this guy. There's no doubt about that. The Whitworth backs off a little bit, fires on the Sortec. That's fine. Okay. So at this point, this Wolverine is our binary laser Wolverine. And we're going to take it up over here as well. And we can fire on that fire starter or on the Raven. The Raven is the better hit odds. And so we shall. Uh -huh. We don't hit, but we're not shocked by that. Systems recycling for another shot. Indeed. So we're going to move up with our Wolverine here. Understood. And I would love to attack this Whitworth, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now we're sinking a little heat here, but if we use that improved heavy laser, that's a lot of heat. So we're going to just fire the snub noses. Very nice. Scored a critical hit. Arm destruction on that Whitworth. And our chameleon is going to continue sprinting its way up over this way, up the road. Thank you. There we go. And order, the Midrin Centurion is going to come on over this direction here. We are exposing our rear arc out over here, but I'm figuring that that'll be fine. The Vulcan has two evasive pips, so we don't actually need to fire precision. I'm on That's a structure exposure there on the Vulcan. Critical hit. Nice. We'll see what he does about that. Yes, Commander. And our long-range Centurion is going to pop over to here. On the move. And I think we're probably, well, 77% chance over there. Our hit odds are way better on that Viper. So we're going to fire on the Viper. Noted. The Viper has AMS. The Raven moves up. Fires on the sword tech. We don't care. This is fine. Completely and totally fine. So it's going to be the Viper moving now. Sets itself on fire. Attacks the Wolverine. Does some damage there. Not the end of the world, though. Think they can hurt me? And our Orion is, at this point, going to make its way over this way. way. We're going to light up the Raven, most likely. Yeah, it's going to be the... Going to be the Raven. Um, I don't know why, but my screen just flashed. Hopefully that doesn't break the recording. I think we had a bit of a graphics issue there. We'll press on, and I'll check this afterwards. The game seems to be working, and uh, OBS appears to be working from this end, so hopefully it's good. We did manage to get a solid hit on that Raven. Okay. The Vulcan is going to fire on our Centurion here and miss with almost everything. That's wonderful. You need me to hold still for you? And we're going to move forward with our Salamander. We're not going to fire with it, though. 
We're saving the rest of those for the kill squad. That fire starter does a whole lot of nothing. And they fire on the centurion there. That's fine. We don't mind. Okay, the battle master is going to sprint its way down over here. We need to get up to here after all. So that'll be fine. Condor moves up, doesn't do anything of note. And the Drillson doesn't do anything of note either. So, can I just say, if the screen is black in the recording right now, I apologize. It appears to be a technical issue. If it's not black, then we appear to have recovered. Everything looks good from my end, or else I would have restarted the recording and spliced it together. But it looks good on my end. So, fingers crossed that it is working correctly. The Wolverine is going to step over here, and we're going to fire on likely that Raven. Actually, our hit odds are better on the fire starter, so let's go ahead and do that. This should be good. Fire starter also running some AMS there, but it's not too bad. Uh, getting pretty hot in here, Commander. The chameleon is going to simply make its way up over here. There we go. That gives us our second beacon. And the Raven moves out of the fire. Fires on the Sortec. We don't care. That is completely and totally irrelevant. So the Centurion is going to position up over here, and we're going to fire on whoever our hit odds are best on. And it's the fire starter. Light him up. Firing all weapons. That fire starter doesn't have much left. The Vulcan moves in. Doesn't really do much, though. Yep. So the Wolverine is going to continue, I think, attacking the Whitworth here. Once again, heat. So we're just going to fire the Snub Noses. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Some CT exposure there. Viper moves up. Fires on the Chameleon. We don't care. Systems holding. Sounds good. Phase 17. The Salamander off. will step up and finally crest the hill. You got it. But we're not going to do anything off. with it. We're saving that ammo. The Javelin fires on the Salamander. Doesn't do much. Okay. And the Orion is going to step forward over here. And we'll fire on whoever our hit odds are best on, which is the fire starter. We missed both of those. Better than even odds, so just bad rolls, sir. Okay. Condor moves up, actually fires on the Viper. Only gets, like, 16 damage in there. It's okay. And it did get a head hit. So they could move their fire starter here, and so they do. They fire on the Wolverine and do not hit with the medium laser. Sounds good to me. So next, our Midrin Centurion is going to stay exactly where it is, and we're just going to light up this Vulcan. I was hoping for some better hits than that, I'll be honest. I really was hoping for a kill there. Hey. But alas, no kill. The Battlemaster will move up here and hit this Viper hard. Really, really hard. Uh, we're going to fire the machine gun as well, but nothing else here. Just the Ultra AC-10 and the Heavy Laser, I think. Engage. That was huge. So one dead Viper. Fantastic. The Whitworth moves and fires on the Sortec. We don't care. Truly irrelevant there. Yep, we are half done with our time here. Receiving you. So the Chameleon is going to start making its way over to here, I think. Uh, yeah, we can get up here or here. And we're going to position here, actually, because this gives us an LOS on the side arc 
of this Vulcan. Our hit odds aren't the best, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, four misses. A little bit unfortunate there. We would have expected oh, one hit there. I hear ya. But that's okay. So our Wolverine is going to position right here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. And we're probably gonna fire on the Whitworth, I think. Just don't fire the ERs or don't fire the MRM. Or we fire the ERs and the MRM, but not the binary laser. I think that's what we do here. Okay, that was his strong side there, but we did get a head hit. So I guess that's okay. This Centurion, we're going to fire again here, but not with the Midrin. Our hit odds are low. Did we fail our sensor roll? Yes, we did. Let's see what you got. Okay. So we'll just hit that Vulcan very minorly there. Okay. Round, tw or rather, phase 20. We are going to see this fire starter move. That's expected. Let's do this. Our salamander can position up over here. We're almost in direct LOS to use that large expulse laser. And let's see what these guys decide to do. Raven firing on the Sortec. Okay. No issue there. A little bit of damage to our Centurion. Barely hit, Commander. But not a big deal. Okay. Yeah. So the Wolverine is, I think it's capable of firing rear arc on the fire starter, but I don't think that's worthwhile. I think we're going to hit this Whitworth yet again. Can we get away with firing the heavy laser? I feel like we can. Roger. There we go. The Whitworth is down. Gotcha. Four mechs to go. I'm generating a lot of heat. Yes, you are. I mean, we're in desert, so that's not shocking. The, the Midran Centurion is taking some damage there, but not much. Standing At by. this point, our J Centurion is going to position Rocket here. Or rather, our AH Centurion. We could jump down and go for the target zone if necessary, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm just thinking we go for the Raven here. There's really not that much else that these guys can take. Now, the Battlemaster is going to sprint forward over here as much as possible. I was hoping for a further sprint, but we are overheated. If we were to fire the large heavy laser, this would continually overheat us, right? Right. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to sink the heat and move into the target zone because we need to get there. The Orion, on the other hand, is going to move up to here. And we're going to fire, I think, on the fire starter's rear arc. Yes, that is indeed what we do. Our weapons are closed. Very nice. That was a really solid hit. Might be some good salvage there. Not from a fire starter. Is overheating. Probably not. <laughs> so our allies are going to run around a bit over here, and that's expected. They're not really going to do anything of note. Okay, so next up Ready, is going to be this chameleon, and we're going to close in down over here. Roger. Get in a little closer so that we have better hit odds here. And I think we use high explosive machine guns now. Engaging target. Reporting critical hit. I was incredibly close to a kill, but it was what no kill. The Wolverine is going to close in over this way, and we are going to fire on probably the Raven. Actually, our hit odds are better on the Javelin, of all things. What is our ammo explosion and shutdown chance? Moderate, but we'll take it. Okay, solid hits there on the Javelin, but it's not dead. And we're doing okay on the heat. You could fry an egg in here. Yes, you could. So the Vulcan is going to move and continue to fire on the Centurion. That's fine. Did we get a head hit there? My old mama can hit harder than that. Apparently not. Okay. Good to know. They're also going to move the Raven. And fire on the Sortec. We don't care. That's completely fine. Confirmed. 
So at this point, the Centurion is going to fire Side Arc on this Vulcan. Light him up. Copy that. That hit something good. Okay. An ejection. That's what we were hoping for there. So the Wolverine will position over here, and we're going to fire just the snub-nosed PPCs in a, sn in a pot shot on this Raven and sink a little bit of heat. Not bad. We did shoot oh, off an arm. Yeah. Watch those heat and the Salamander is going to sprint its way up over here, although we're not in LOS just yet. Receiving you. The Orion is going to position over here, and we're going to fire once again on that Raven with a couple of pot shots. Roger that. Two misses. Unfortunate. I mean, it's not surprising. We only had like a 27% hit chance, so eh, it'll do. We're going to fire on the Raven with the AH Centurion. We'll light him up. There we go. One dead Raven. So all that's left now is the Javelin. The Battlemaster is going to continue to sprint in to the beacon location. You know, legendary assault mech nimbleness there. And we're going to see what the Javelin decides to do here. That's foolish. The Javelin just exposed itself to fire from our fire support. It's totally dead. It just doesn't know it yet. So our vehicles aren't really going to do very much, in all honesty. This chameleon is going to position somewhere over here. We don't know where the kill lance is going to land yet. The wolverine is going to fire just the snub noses. We're probably not going to hit here. We did hit one of those. That's huge. I'm actually shocked. We're going to fire here without the binary laser, or actually only the binary laser. That's our best hit odds, but it's a pot shot, and we're unlikely to hit. Otherwise, we're sinking heat. Okay, and our long-range Centurion can probably finish the job here. Although we did miss with the two autocannons. Scored a critical hit. Okay. So our Midrin Centurion is going to start heading over this way. And sink some heat. Waiting for order. This Orion is going to light this guy up and sink some heat. On it. Oh wow, we missed both again on 60% hit odds. Oof. <laughs> that is unfortunate that we've missed that many at better than even hit odds in a row. We're definitely getting some bad luck there. So we'll see what this guy decides to do. He has basically no armor or internal structure hey. left. He is going to go hide again. Sure. That's fine. We're going to position, not there, here. Okay. Which should be within the beacon location. And we're just going to fire on this guy with the heavy laser. We're probably not going to hit, okay. though. Nope. We do not hit. If we had, that would have been a dead javelin. But we did not. Oh, hello. Our ally actually doing something. We'll take it. Okay, so at this point, our salamander is going to position here. We don't yet know where our evac point is going to be or where the kill squad is going to come in. Ah, that wasn't within. Okay, so we're just going to brace everybody now. Aye, aye. And our allies are going to run around a bit. That's fine. Okay. And where's the evac point? That's the evac point. Okay. We'll Moving start heading up that way. Right, Commander. But we don't know where the kill squad is going to drop. Yeah. My guess? Okay. Here. But we'll see. So we're just going to head over this way. In fact, I'm not going to head up over that way just yet. On the move. I still think the kill squad will land over here. 
We'll see where it lands. I'm actually just going to brace everyone. Acknowledged, Commander. Okay. So where are those enemy reinforcements going to be? We're going to brace. I got you. And we're going to brace a couple more times. I don't really want to give up this location. This is a solid location. So let's see where this is. Any moment now, kill team. Okay. Kill team will arrive this round and we'll be able to respond to it. Fascinating. Okay. So, the Battle Master is going to start running over this way. The Chameleon is going to respond over this way. The Centurion is going to respond over this way. The Orion is going to remain where it is and turn around. Centurion is going to position here. This Wolverine is going to position here. Salamander is going to turn around. And this Wolverine is going to kind of get aggressive, I think. We'll position over here. Let's move. Okay. So the Battlemaster is a ways away, right? But this is a really solid position for us, I feel like. I've got here they come. They're heading your way. Okay, so we see an Awesome and a Black Knight. I hear you. The Awesome allows us rear arc access, as does the Black Knight. We're going to reserve the Wolverine. These guys, we're going to let them turn around. We're going to let them move. As a griffin. He charged our Wolverine, but did not hit. And that's a Madcap Mark II. Ooh. That's solid. It's 15. So they move before our salamander does. Where are we moving here? Got something you our chameleon. Done. That's okay. We're going to race our chameleon up over here. I'm already there. And we're going to fire on this griffin with the chameleon. We're going to use armor piercing ammo. Firing on target. We did get a rear arc stray shot, a couple of them, into the awesome. That's not bad. What do you need? This wolverine is going to reserve. The Black Knight moves up, fires hard on the Wolverine, really hard. Reporting heavy damage. Okay, I was expecting him to miss more of those and not have it all go in on that leg. Luckily, there wasn't really anything in that leg, although I did see a couple of double heat sinks get destroyed up in this torso, which is very unlucky, because that means that was through armor. Very unlucky indeed. Okay, order, so our Midrin Centurion is obviously going to need to make its way in over here. Unfortunately, that's the best we can do. That is very unfortunate. We're going to fire on this Griffin with everything we've got and hope that we don't stray shot our friend. We stray shotted a bunch there, I'm hit. including a head hit. That is really unfortunate. The Mad Cat's going to really hammer that Wolverine. It's probably dead. Yep. I mean, honestly, I don't, and, and that's a pilot death. Panzer's dead. But I honestly don't see how I could have predicted all of those hits all hitting the exact same location like that. Like... I, I don't feel like I made a fundamental mistake there by reserving the Wolverine. We had three evasive pips. The Black Knight just happened to hit all of those in that leg. Good to go. So, it is what it is. We're going to get aggressive with this Wolverine, and we're going to move in over this way. The best we can do, of course, is a side arc shot on this Madcap. But these guys note that they have extremely heavy heat generation. And we're using that to our advantage. So that Mad Cat is no longer unstable. The Drillson just left. 
for some reason. Ready for orders. Okay. The Orion is going to hit... Honestly, I th think we're going to hit the Mag Cat Mark II here. Light him up. It's a nice structural exposure. Is that a knockdown? That is a knockdown. Very nice. Okay. The Condor is piecing out as well. Our allies are just leaving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going to step forward with our Salamander here, and we're going to fire on the Awesome with Direct Fire. And we're not going to fire the X-Pulse. That's great. I was hoping for a knockdown on the Awesome, but it'll do. The Battle Master is going to run as forward as it can here, but it can't get into LOS. The Musketeer is just leaving as well. So our Midrin, or rather our Long Range Centurion here, is going to go for the knockdown on the Awesome. Firing all weapons. Excellent. So that's two knockdowns. Very nice. And I still think that that Wolverine was just bad luck. Like, it's it's okay. No big deal there. We're going to move up with our Chameleon here. And I think we're going to go for the... Are we going to go for the frontal attack here? Honestly, I feel like the rear attack is fine. Go for the high explosive. Do it. On for Solid hit there. Attack. LRM ammo explosion, but it was contained. Some heavy That's a lot of crits into a knockdown. Okay. I was hoping for a little more damage on that guy, but it'll do. We're going to move in and go for a rear arc melee. Uh, I was really hoping that we would be able to fire the medium lasers in this one, but unfortunately we can't. We're just going to have to do this. Rear arc melee MRMs. It's not great, but it'll do. Okay, that's a solid melee hit there. Black Knight is now unsteady. We got a little bit of internal damage there, but more importantly, we got another knockdown. All of the enemies are currently knocked down. Okay. Right so our Battle Master is going to sprint up as far as possible, which is actually here, and the Battle Master can go for the kill on the Griffin. That's a huge deal, actually. Do it. Here we go. There we go. I got him. So the Griffin is down. I'm melting in here. The Salamander is going to go for the hits on the awesome again. Do we go for the X-Pulse? I don't think so. Heat's too high. There we go. Solid hits there. That was a heavy hit, Commander. You're okay. So, the awesome in and well, all of them are actually fairly stricken. We're going to move up with our Centurion to this okay. position, and which one do we want to go for? Honestly, the Awesome is kind of the most dangerous right now, but we're going to go for the Mad Cat. Because we don't have LOS on the Awesome. I got you. The Mad Cat's down. Start nice. Down. Waiting for orders. The Orion is... It, it has clear LOS on the awesome, so we're definitely going to go for that. Only 54% hit odds here? No sensors. We failed our, sens our sensor roll. Locking in all weapons. Oof. Failing that sensor roll is really unfortunate there. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. Okay, so this Centurion also has clear LOS on the awesome. Light him up. Couple of double heatsink destruction, sir. The awesome is panicked. Our allies are doing literally nothing. The Black Knight is going to get up here. It is wildly overheated. If it does a big firing, it's likely to kill itself. 
Okay. It's going to overheat further, I think. Minimal damage on that hit. And it barely hit. Yes. So at this point, the awesome is going to get up. And we'll see what it decides to do. Backs off into the fire and does nothing. Just in trenches. Standing by. It's a bold strategy. We'll see how that plays out for him. Actually, he has no frontal armor. There we go. No, not that direction. Over here. There you go. <laughs> okay. Boop. Okay. That's a PPC destruction and a pilot ejection. That's a full awesome that we get. That's a lot of damage to the Centurion, yes. But that Black Knight is dead. Because he just shut down. Very nice. The Wolverine is going to move in over here and we can go for a side arc attack, I suppose. We'll do it. Right, Commander. So that's a hit. And of course, we're not surprised by this. That's a leg destruction, I think. Critical hit, Commander. He's running clan double heat sinks. SRMs, Commander. Okay. So our long range centurion is going to step forward here for clearer LOS, and we're going to light up this black knight. As a knockdown. And an ejection. Very nice. So that could get us a Black Knight as well. We're going to immediately start moving for the evac point. I still say that losing that Wolverine was mostly just bad luck. It all clustered on that leg, getting the knockdown. And us firing with the Midrin and getting the headshot didn't help, to be clear. But ultimately, Orders. I don't think I made the wrong play there. I played the odds, and sometimes you just lose when you play the odds. That's just the way the game works. Moving out. So I'm okay with that. And ultimately, I think Moving to position. a losing... Wait, it was Panzer who was in that. Panzer can't die. Panzer's our company leader. So we didn't even lose the Mech Warrior. We probably should assume that the Wolverine is not repairable. But if we got an awesome out of it, I don't care. Yeah, I didn't realize that Panzer was the company commander. But yeah, yeah, Panzer actually can't be killed. Affirmative. That's huge. That makes that so much more worth it. Out. I'm very happy about that one. So we just need to slowly make our way up to the... Wait, is he bleeding out? Uh, he's unsettled. Blood loss. Chronic Toast might have to be ejected here. The J Centurion, what do we have in that head? Basic sensors and an improved FCS. That's probably fine. Okay, uh, six activations remaining. We might be able to get there in time. There. We'll keep an eye on that. And I suppose that might be something that uh, we use first aid for. Does that have a cooldown on it? Affirmative. Because we don't actually care about ending his turn once he arrives up there. I doubt the Salamander gets up there in eight rounds. Or seven rounds, I guess it would be. So we'll see. But yeah, we're definitely expecting... The Wolverine took a ton of damage, right? So we're definitely expecting that the Wolverine is probably not good to go. Roger that. So we're going to position up over here. On my way. And we're going to make our way on up. On it. Copy that. So yeah, five activations remaining there. Move order received. Okay. Now we don't want Chronic Dose to bleed out. No doubt about that one. Moving to position. 
Affirmative. Luckily, we have roads on the way up here. And we're going to... Four activations remaining, but he'll make it in there very shortly. Okay. If we have to eject him is not the biggest deal, but I would prefer to avoid that if at all possible. And we're just going to make our way up with everybody else. Our battle master can position like up here. And then three activations remaining, and then we're going to start doing first aid. We'll see if it has a cooldown on it. Okay. So the AH Centurion moves there. The battle master, we're going to brace. The Salamander, we move up. And we're going to first aid. Okay. There we go. Stabilizing and bracing. Excellent. So that buys us an extra round. Move order confirmed. The Orion is going to chill here. Confirm. Chronic toast. We can just spam the, fir the first aid. Okay, so that's wonderful. Yes, Commander. We're going to go ahead and do that. Out. I still think that that's a very Heading niche out. ability. This is the first time we've actually utilized it. So there's that. But it's useful in this very specific situation. So we're going to move our Centurion in over here. And our Salamander is going to move up the road. And our Centurion is going to do first aid. And then we're going to brace everything. Excellent. So we're going to have to choose between a Black Knight and an Awesome. And I think we'll probably choose the Awesome. Commander. They're both going to have heat issues. On my way. There's no doubt about that. Confirm. Okay. And then we'll brace everything else. Resting my mech. Excellent. These guys were not very helpful with the kill squad, I gotta say. <laughs> they just pieced out. So the Salamander is going to move over to here. It should be able to make it in next round. We'll first aid. And there we go. Roger that. Excellent. So I mean, Panzer is going to be out for a long time. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be quite a lengthy recovery period. But Panzer cannot die. So let's get out of here and see what we get from Salvage. We know that we can get an awesome. Mission successful. And that would be amazing, in fact. The Wolverine definitely took a whole lot of damage. We know that we lost the improved medium laser, that the improved heavy medium laser. Given our heat constraints, that's not awful, right? We definitely need to start working on funds and and components rather than mech parts at some point soon. There's no doubt about that. So, we can choose between the Black Knight or the Awesome. The Black Knight does come with a ballistic hard point. The Awesome, however, I think fleshes out our Juggernaut a little bit. So let's go ahead and go for the awesome, and we're going to have it replace possibly like our Midrin Centurion. Unfortunately, it's not going to be able to have the, the ballistic slot, but otherwise that's fine. And what do we want to go for next? I want to come down here and see if we've got a clan double heatsink kit. That's what we're going to hope for. Engine heatsink plus two isn't awful. But what I really want here is a clan double heatsink kit. There we go. Okay, what else do we get? A lot of parts, including how many Black Knight parts? No Black Knight parts. ATM 3, we'll keep that around. An ER small laser is nice to have around as well. We'll get rid of these medium lasers. We'll get rid of this machine gun as well. We do have a number of PPCs already. And this might this might actually be a good option this awesome for the heavy ppc loadout that we were talking about for the hector rocket 20 that's fine Ooh, we got the heatsink plus two that's really solid 
We already have a light engine. We'll get rid of these two heat sinks. And a, an active sensor probe. That's really solid. And there we go. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more heat sink components, but that'll do just fine. So let's get that awesome readied, but we're not probably going to be ready to actually put it together just yet. It'll be in the same position as the Hector, and in fact it kind of almost replaces the Hector. It's almost like a better Hector. So we should probably think about a different loadout for that Hector. The awkward part about it is its hard points. They're so awkward. But at any rate, it is time to put a cut in here, so let's just see how expensive this is going to be. With the Wolverine, we're expecting it to be quite expensive. Okay, it was destroyed and could not be recovered, so in that case it won't be too bad. It is, however, like I said, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to see if we can get that awesome online. But I'm going to ready it here so that I don't forget that it exists. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. We do have this one available, the 8R. We could do either of these. This is a lot more a lot more hard points, just raw hard points. So I'm going to do this one. Okay. And we'll figure out the loadout we want for that next episode. See you all then.